There's an adage in the film industry that every time you go out on a shoot, you're going to forget at least one thing, and you're going to have to work around that and hopefully make everything work. And that is the same for camping. Uh, I always forget at least one thing. I'll tell you this, though. It's never food. Everybody who goes camping with me is always packed to the gills. So, uh, yeah, if you come out camping with me, you're going to have a pretty good time there. But, uh, yeah, I always forget one little piece of equipment. Uh, who knows what it's going to be? It's going to be interesting every time, even if I have a checklist. There's always something. You have just so many moving parts on a film shoot or going out to shoot with a rifle or going camping. And uh, especially when you are shooting cameras and shooting guns, it all gets really complicated. And uh, I went out to test the Savage Telekinesis rifle. This is my 12FV that's wearing that new uh, preferred barrel on top here, 243 Winchester. I had my loads all tuned up, went out to actually test them to see how they would group. And this is what I came back with. Up top, we have 87 grain VMAX. So these are all five shot groups. These are both uh, 87 grain VMAX up here, same charge. Uh, this is uh, two shots, two shots, one shot right there. That's 0.92 inches. At 1.04 inches, we have this kind of crescent shape going on here. These two are 87 grain BTHP match. This one comes in at 0.79 inches. This one is 1.3. And then down here with the 105 grain BTHP match bullets, we're looking at 0.9 inches all the way across this right here. This all kind of grouped up really well and then that one through. And then we have 0.71 inches uh, with this right here, another five shot group. And then I fired some more of the 105s. So we're looking at 0.95 inches and 1.03. Now, if this were any other rifle, I might be happy with this, but this is not just any old rifle. This is my rifle. This is one that I have tuned to the nth degree, and uh, everything on here should be running extremely well, and we have that match grade barrel up top, uh, which should be tuning, you know, tightening everything in really, really well. There is one issue. After I got done with this shoot and I was wondering what in the world could be wrong with something touching the barrel, was something touching at the, the back of the tang here, uh, you know, what could possibly be causing that much vibration that what I expect is going to be closer to a third of an inch capable barrel, maybe even smaller. We're going to see how that goes, but at, yeah, at least a half inch. We're getting these one inch groups out of this. Uh, you know, what could be going wrong? I picked the rifle up to move it from one spot to the next back here in the garage and I noticed a little bit of a rattle and I was wondering what in the world could be rattling? What's touching? All of my bolts down here on the action, they're, they're perfectly tight. There's nothing in a bolt action rifle that should really be rattling unless there's a, a magazine that has a, a rattly follower. And then I touched the scope and I realized that before I had left for this shoot, I had had another scope on there before. I had put this one on and I had just barely finger tightened. Like I hadn't even tried to crank with my fingers on the, uh, the nuts that you see right there. So this scope wasn't actually attached to the rifle. I had shot that whole session uh, without a scope actually being attached to the gun. So we're gonna go out and do it again. Uh, I must say then that uh, one MOA with a scope that's not actually on the gun, I'll take that. That's not too shabby. Guys, make sure that you like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can see when we actually find out what this is capable of and when we get out and do the egg challenge with this. Because yes, I'm going to vaporize some eggs at 300 yards with this gun. It's going to be totally up to it, especially with this scope on top. This rocks. Make sure you do not miss the, the end review of this scope right here, the Bushnell Match Pro. Fantastic scope. This is one that has way more bells and whistles than it should. And uh, especially for you varminters and target shooters, this is going to be uh, just a great, great choice for you. So yeah, hit that notification bell, especially down there, so you don't miss the new videos when they come out. YouTube doesn't want this information out there. That's your best chance. Thank you to everybody that has made even silly videos like this one possible. Thank you to patrons of the destructive arts that are helping to keep the lights on, keep the cameras rolling, and keep us in ballistics gel and gunpowder. Uh, we have Sportsman's Guide and Stan and Mary at the 
338 Lapua Magnum level. We have Mr. No Name, we have Peter, and we have Joseph Davis at the 300 Win Mag level. And if anybody else wants to chip in a buck or two a month to keep videos that are better than this coming out, uh, I'll put a link to Patreon around here. I'll see you guys around. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. Even if you didn't like this particular content, go ahead and subscribe. There's probably something coming that's more up your alley. Check out this playlist right here. This is going to have videos in a similar vein to what you just watched. These two videos we cherry picked for you. And finally, The Social Regressive is on Patreon. So you can become a patron of the destructive arts and earn some goodies while helping us to provide high quality videos just by kicking us a few bucks a month. Thanks a bunch for your patronage.